where the police in River State is appealing to young people to shun all acts that are capable of disrupting the peaceful conduct of the election. The leadership of the State Police Command made the appeal during a meeting with youth leaders across the state in Port Harcourt. Senior reporter Ucho Okoro has details. Leaders and representatives of youth groups from the 23 local government areas attended the meeting with the Commissioner of Police and some members of his management team. Welcome, Electoral violence is top on the agenda for both stakeholders who are hoping to change the narrative of elections in River State. Like a concerned father handing down advice to his children, the commissioner said no young person deserves to mortgage their future or lose their lives for anyone's political interest. Most of the people we call friends, the moment they test political power, their level changes and you are no longer their friend. So why die for them? Why kill for them? Why burn for them? Why destroy for them? We were all witnesses to what happened during the 20. 19 general elections in this state. Our dear River State was almost turned into a theater of war, and we do not want a repeat of the ugly experience we had in 2019 in this state. The police believe that cultism has served as the most viable platform for some politicians to recruit youths into electoral violence. But tackling this menace remains a major challenge. Sean Courtism. The task is made even more difficult due to the lack of trust between residents and law enforcement agencies. Youth leaders, you must, you must deliberately and consciously shun courtism. Otherwise, courtism will, it will remain the farm for the cultivation of political torture and criminals. When we order for some criminal's arrest, before your very eyes, these people will be released and they came back to the same community and become a threat to your life. And if care is not taken, you will go down as a youth leader, your family will go down as a youth leader because you took a bold step. The police is hoping for the best, but say they are also prepared to deal decisively with anyone who engages in violence at any stage of the electoral process. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Hackett.